Hello everyone, welcome back to Parker's FNAF School. Hello Parker. Hello. Nice to have you back on the channel. We're continuing with MatPat's FNAF law videos and we're on the rise of Afton. So we finished the first video in his like four or five video series of the definitive timeline. We're on episode two. Uh, this will be split over two videos though, so this will be the first one, then we'll do a second part after. Cause... 1983, business was booming with two whole restaurant franchises running, Fred Bear's Family two Diner and the newly opened Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Together, William and Henry had been able to take the hybrid suit idea and make it into a reality. They called their new invention the Springlock Suit, and fittingly enough, it was That'll symbolic of the partnership later. between Can you the two stop? men, a human suit you designed Matt? by William no. that could become a freestanding Henry-style robot. But because it was still new Why to the to work out, then? the rollout was limited. Restricted only Sorry, that's Markiplier. <laughs> style robot. But because it was still new tech with kinks to work out, the rollout was limited. Restricted only to the Fred Bear's Family Diner location. All of this meant that William was busier than ever. He didn't have time to be a full-time parent, so he designed a nanny cam system where cameras and speakers were hidden throughout the neighborhood, as well as in his youngest son's favorite toy, Psychic Friend Fred Bear. I mean, plushy Fred Bear. But since cameras just weren't enough to raise thing. a kid, he also left childcare duties to his eldest son, Michael. There was just one problem. You really are Michael was in these far videos. from the best stop? babysitter. He tormented his younger brother by jump scaring him with a foxy mask and constantly left him behind. William watched all of it from his cameras. Kids would be kids. Tomorrow was another day after all. Except Michael's torment didn't stop. Bitter, angry thoughts would run through Michael's mind. Why did he have to be the one to take care of this whining crybaby all the time? It just wasn't mm. fair. It was time that he got no. even with his brother. It's just Michael not fair. It's just crying. not fair. It just so happened to be on this crying child's oh, birthday. He and his friends would take his scared little brother and make Oh, I've seen the one thing that he was terrified of doing, getting close to the animatronics. Uh, that would be embarrassing uh, for the kid that uh, was such an embarrassment uh, to him. His brother uh, squirmed, screamed, kicked, and fought, but just as they were putting that small squirming boy up to Fred Bear's lips... Was that the bite really, Seven? Shut. The sensitive spring locks inside the... I know, that's the, the joke. And they'd immediately I know. Down. The I know! The boy went limp. It was just a prank. It was meant to be funny. The boy was taken to the Say, hospital and was immediately given an IV. Flowers and pills filled the nightstand next to his hospital bed. But the damage was too severe. He couldn't recover. As the younger brother's consciousness began to fade, he could hear Michael's last words. A small, <laughs> flimsy apology. Michael his father, has taken William, the out of that. Through the voice of the Fredbear plush were a firm and committed promise to a dying son. You're broken. Hoid, I hoid, will hoid, put hoid, you... Hoid, hoid. You're missing important hoid, law. Hoid, hoid, hoid. That was the important information. No. That's my Back prediction. Together. You missed important law Firm and committed Humpty promise Dumpty, to down. a dying son. You're broken. I will put you back together. This would not Humpty. be the end. No matter what, William's King son King King would again. Involved. It would just take time. Time that, right now, he just didn't have. His young son's heart flatlined as the boy faded into hmm? the inky unknown of the aftermath. In the aftermath of the tragedy, changes started based on a real pissing story. Kids were now required to wear laugh. security wristbands to prevent anyone from getting outside without parental permission. Any kid who approached the exit without permission would have to answer to the security. Eaten. Puppet, a oh. marionette on strings that could fly around on rails across the restaurant to stop kids in their tracks. It was William's oh, idea, inspired horrible. by Michael constantly leaving the restaurant without his brother. In the wake of Fred Bear's spring lock failure, all the hybrid suits were getting retired, locked away at the nearby mm. Freddy Fazbear location. It was yet another tough pill to swallow after all the hard work that he and Henry had put into them. William would eventually bury the boy's small body in a remote location out in the woods right alongside his drive into and out of work every day. Lost in the Spiraling. Shut his up, wife, sorry. crippled with grief, was so distraught that all she could do was sit and watch TV. But his son, Michael, was far worse. Complaining of seeing hallucinations... This isn't movie. Michael in the film, is it? Some people think it is, some people think it isn't. So people think that Michael is Afton's... Because that's Afton's son, right? Yeah. That's Michael Afton's son. So people think that Mike in the film... They think he will be the... Shaggy's son. son. Yeah. Right. They think he'll... Supposedly, from where this timeline goes, you'll mm. see it explained. That's who people think it's going to be because in the first game, mm. as I'm sure you'll know because we, we've played it, watch the video, um, <laughs> you get a paycheck that says Mike, Sh Mike Schmidt, yes. who is the Mike we see in the film trailer. Right. However, people theorise, such as Matt Pat, other theorists, 
think that Michael Afton goes to each diner under a different name. Right. So Mike Schmidt... Um, Might just be like an alias. Yeah, yeah. Um, that kind of thing. Like all the, all the characters mm. that you play as are actually Michael, supposedly. Right. Because he's going just to different. each diner to undo his father's doing. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. That's it. Golden bear standing outside of his window. The boy was so racked with guilt that he was convinced that he was being haunted by the ghost of his brother stuck inside the suit that took his life. The suit's three toed feet digging into the wet earth. The words, it's me, ringing through Michael's ears. Some nights, Michael That's would even why go the so thing far in as the trailer out was of his called. room to check Garbage. the gravesite and ensure that his brother. Contact that someone like brightened classic theory stuff. They brightened one of the shots from the trailer and on like one of the notice boards by where Mike is, it says, it's me. It's me also flashes a lot. It's a me. It's me flashes up a lot in the games. So um, either it's an animatronic or it's Mario. Yes, dear. Um, Brother was not still. I'm explaining. I have explanations for you. Um, so it's me in the first FNAF game flashes up um, as one of the rare screens that you can get, as well as um, there's a rare scene where you can get Golden Freddy into the room. Um, so if you're doing your security guard biz and uh, you go, you know the little hallway by the door where Bonnie gets in? Yes. Like right before he's outside On the this door. Side. Yeah. He's he stood up there and he's like this. Yeah. If Bonnie's not in there, you can see a poster of Freddy. Right. And now sometimes Freddy will do this. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I don't know if Michael will pick that up. The crack of eighty seven <laughs> <laughs> and then if you click off that and go back, yeah. it'll be Golden Freddy. Oh, you said that, yeah. And then if you go back into the room, Golden Freddy will be sat in the room, hoard, hoard. and he'll yeah. be there like... You get hot And hoarded. supposedly, that is um, the crying child yeah. being like, Brother, it's me, it's me, it's me. I see. That's what... Or, no, I've got a theory, mm. Mario. Or it's Mario. <laughs> I think there. It's probably As for Mario. William himself, he disappeared into his work and his drinks. Junior, the local mustache. bar, wasn't far from his son's gravesite. Hmm? He found this himself going there more mustache. and more frequently, spending longer and longer amounts of time there. The bar gave him a place to alcoholic. think, to remember, to William reflect, Afton goes to AA. To on how Henry had I'm Hello. William Afton. Hello, Hello I'm my name is William Afton. How they okay. cut his character out of the cartoon like when that, everyone too. else was there. How and Henry the had humiliated him no, by buying him trap. out of bankruptcy. And now, now there was his son. My Henry cosplay. had taken his go, son go, go, from him. Yeah, sure. But now I've got to cut around that. One more drink, but it was one too many. The bar turned him out and told him to go home. But William didn't go home. Drunk and angry, William raced back to the restaurant to give Henry a piece of his mind. Only to find someone else waiting. Oh, is it, it, you're seeing it. Charlie locked outside of the building. Bully's laughing at her through the window. Fine, Who? some other problem to fix. But then Afton got an idea, a beautifully awful idea. This, this cringe. was his chance to get back at the man that had humiliated him all those years ago. Henry had killed his business, and now Henry's robotic suit had killed his son. It was time for William to do some killing of his own. Let Henry oh feel what it's He's like to have something you love get okay. ripped away. I While parties that. continued yeah. inside the walls of that the pizzeria, William that. attacked Charlie in the back alley. It felt Dude, good. He felt free. The years of resentment and bitterness trapped in his heart finally released in a moment of pure unapologetic evil. He would make Henry hurt like he hurts. <laughs> and in that moment, William became a killer. He dropped Charlie's lifeless body and drove home, forced to confront his family problems later that night, appalled but also a little excited by what he had just done. Charlie's death would remain on the books as a random act of violence. And though Henry had suspicions about William, there was no physical evidence, nothing that could link him back to the crime. In the weeks that followed, Fred Bear's family diner would close. The way we know about Charlie mm. is from the Silver Eyes novel, which, if you're interested, Fraser and viewers, yep, yeah, uh, it says down there, Fraser and viewers, if you're interested, we could get like an audio oh God, no. version up. Christ, we're not going to finish no, this no, no, series by the film, Matt, we're not going to get that involved. Matt Cat has done bits on the book. We're not going to finish this this video series by the time the film's out, let alone the books and all. Oh, we could leave it. I guess. 
close for good. Two high profile yeah, deaths around the restaurant with two grieving owners in such a short period of time is just too much bad press to handle. Besides, Freddy Fazbear's was still open, and it was the newer restaurant anyway. All the equipment from the diner, including the old yellow suits and security puppet, would get retired to that location. And there they would sit for two uneventful Home years. Home for retired guess, killer animatronics. Guess who's in the puppet? Your mum? No. Your mum. The Henry rest of Campbell. 1983 and 1984 were spent quietly grieving. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and the new cast Charlie's of characters were a hit. Tragic memories Charlie of their yellow the predecessors quickly faded. Afton kept a low profile and buried himself in work and research. Quickly. <laughs> Sorry. That's not. I don't know much about the well, assembly of animatronics, but I can Afton pretty confidently say it doesn't involve getting a hammer and just going. I think you're wrong. Uh, clearly, it is shown here by William Afton. Quickly reaching He's Henry's level of engineering and even surpassing him. And while Henry slowed down to grieve, Afton doesn't let like surpassing even starting him. his own company, Afton Robotics, for all those pet projects that were a little bit too experimental you know, for the regular operations Afton of the pizzeria. Robotics? The first of no, these experimental sure projects was a secret workshop under his house, a veritable bunker, which allowed him to work while still monitoring his kids via hidden security Six. cameras. One, nine, eight. A password. The is three. Constant reminder of why the cameras were so important. Why he was you say I'm a cretin. This was it's all channel, to fulfill the promise that he had made to his son, right? I will put three you back solid together. Years of this was for him. All for him. Right? But what cameras weren't enough. He needed to solve the runaway Michael problem. He had to keep That's him Michael. in the house. He couldn't have another one of his kids wind up dead inside of an animatronic <laughs> suit. So why not run a little experiment on Michael? Klimpaloon. You see, all this work with Henry oh. got an The Klimpaloon? What the fuck is the Klimpaloon? He's in Phineas and Ferb. Let me show you the Klimpaloon. If you like Phineas and Ferb, you'll love the Klimpaloon. There's a very specific niche of people out there who go, Oh my god, I bloody love the Klimpaloon. He's like Meep. He's an urban legend, is the Klimpaloon. You're a Klimpaloon. And he lives in the mountains. And he's a walking bathing suit. Oh, I don't like it. And he simply goes... Yeah, I don't like it. Get a bit... We're never going to finish this. But yeah, I just want to show you the Klimpaloon. You're a Klimpaloon. <laughs> Thank you. No, I just want to hear the clip loose. Yang, 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 yang. Clip loose, yang, yang. Good. You have everything. I've got a nice cup of hot cocoa. Do you hear a rumbling noise? Start the play, start the play. Sounds like you're flooding, not flooding it. Start the play. Incoming. How am I ever going to explain this to mom? Oh, right. I need it. Still going. For 10 minutes. <laughs> Did you like him, Yang Yang? I need a flamethrower. No, I love him. Afton to start learning more about life, about robots, the human mind, and what a fallible machine we as humans were. Our reality is so easy mm. to manipulate with a few sensory deceptions. Deceptions like sound. With just a few sounds, he had discovered that he could alter a person's vision. He could transform blank, smooth, plastic robots into lumbering, twisted nightmares. Nightmares far scarier than he could create with actual materials. They would appear organic, rotting, putrid terrifying these would be his means of keeping his son michael in question yes who is cupcake is it just another animatronic of his what who's the cupcake just... like, is it just another animatronic that he's built Bas the cupcake goes along with chica yeah that's that's what i've gathered is it just another animatronic well i suppose it's like in sister location mm. um there's a fred bear like a white and pink red bear with a bonnie puppet. Right. I, I assume it's a similar thing where it okay. can probably talk on it because in the film the it does cupcake so, it, yeah. has a voice. So I assume it's just another thing. The house where he belonged. Was it extreme? Maybe. But then again, this was the boy who had killed his son. He would make him sorry. And so Michael would grow up not only dealing with the memories of his own guilt, the hospital room, the pills, the flowers, the death of his brother, but also facing literal nightmares. Illusions created by sound. Michael would never forget these either. Years later, as a security guard, he would still draw pictures of them inside 
of his logbook. But all of these extra projects meant that his home life suffered even more. He was an absent father and a non-existent husband, leaving his wife cold and alone. Why do you hide inside your walls when there is music in my halls? All I see is an empty room. No more joy, an empty tomb. And despite her repeated demands that he leave his office and engage with the family, he refused time and time again, leaving her no choice but to leave. You burned down my house? You call that a house? It was like a morgue in there. You need to see your son. The baby isn't mine. Well, how's this? I'm keeping the diamond ring. And through it all, there was one lingering feeling. William, what the fuck have I just watched there? So, there was... Incest location. Mm. When you finish a shift, you go. Incest location. Sister location. You'd go home after a shift and watch that Port TV Port show. Port. After every right. like shift you did, mm. it's a shift you did. You at sister yes. location, and it was supposed to serve as clues as to like the Afton family because there's a lot. The of Afton family. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. Uh, so that was supposed to show, especially because like the vampire's mm. wearing purple and all this, supposed Got to show it. how Afton had become mm. with his family after the death of his son. I see wasn't done. He had gotten a taste of what it felt like to be unleashed. What it felt like to be free. Charlie's it's murder Elmo. had unlocked something meme. in him. And he, he wanted more. June 26th, 1985. Putting on the golden body suit, he lured him by one to the back room of the pizzeria where no one was looking. At first, he was cautious. He would lure them with promises of cake and cookies. He told them that their dog had died. He would ask for help with homework. The cake Susie was, was the first. You never truly okay. forget your first. <laughs> just come here. Just come here. The joke is a lie. Let's put it on echo so funny stories. I have but where to hide so, the bodies? He couldn't sneak out. Since you were busy making jokes like that, uh, S Susie. She so after up with. Susie is the kid he killed first. Little girl called Susie, luring her way. Um, in one of the games, you can see her like you're playing a arcade game, mm. and you can see her playing this arcade game. Like you can see her face, and you can see oh, I've seen spring this. body behind her. Yeah, and she goes on to possess Chica. He, yes. he puts her into Chica first. Spoilers. Like, That's what this is. That's what was just explained. Well, they put them into Chica. Yeah, they put Susie so. into Chica, and Chica says, I was the first, I've seen everything. So she knows, like, she knows everything that Afton has see. done. Other, than, big other brain. than Charlotte, because he, she was technically the first. So Chica's big brain. Chica is big brain. Chica's big brain. Would see okay. him. That's what we've learned. hide them in a place where they'd never be found, and where they'd never leave the Fall. building. They had to be stuffed. Stuffed inside That's Foxy, the suit. No sure. one maintained like those things Fox. anyway, except for him. Foxy's so my favourite. Would go into Chica. Fritz, Jerry, See, you spoiled it. You said it a solid ten seconds before Matt Pat said it. Gabriel would come next. Sorry, Easy. Matt Pat. So rude. Easy. And with each little life he snuffed out, his lies got bigger. Their house was burning. They're just being kidnapped until the last one, where all pretense was They're off, let himself get violent. Their house is burning. They're just being kidnapped. Help. Police murder said Wonka William after Wonka. Wait, 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 William. I was trying to make. Willie after. The body of Cassidy was far more bloody and broken than any of the others. He'd let himself go too far. That one, that one he should have killed. With no more or active oh animatronics left, he shoved the body into the one suit that remained backstage. The long forgotten yellow Fredbear. Now broken and discolored with age. Broken, like Cassidy was broken. Like his son was broken. Newspaper. We're going to leave it there for this episode because we are halfway through uh, episode two. So. There was Parker's FNAF School. If you haven't seen episode one of Parker's FNAF School, no, yeah, you can click here to watch us watch the first half of the first video. If you want to see 
episode three of FNAF School, where me and Parker react to the full length park the the bus gob wop trailer. The full length trailer for the new FNAF film. You can click here. It's subscribe very good. here. Maps down here. Second channel here, which is Fraser Oliver Gaming, where we are going to be playing an Fire extension of. So so like it's not. Five Originally, five, 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 five. Five, that's a phrase, the game was going to be part of FNAF school, but now I've got the gaming channel, so it's just going to sort of... Little spin-off series over on the second channel, we're going to be playing through all... Uh, hopefully, it's, look, this needs to be done before I see the film, right? I need to have at least seen all of these map like videos before I see the film, and then any other stuff. The games, I don't, we'll, play, we'll play them eventually, I mean, we will we'll finish a, all of them at some point. We'll do a, like an after-film go-through, won't we? What do you mean? As in, uh, we watch the film. We'll do a review. Back. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. It's called a review. An after film go through. If only there's a word for when you go and see something <laughs> oh, and then no. talk about it. Not a review. We'll, we'll do a review on it. Well, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and then the gaming series on the gaming channel will just sort of continue indefinitely until we've finished all the FNAF games, which could take a while. I'm King of Oranges on TikTok. I cosplay. Don't think that's going to pick up. I'm King of Oranges on TikTok. I do cosplay and stuff. Fraser, Fraser will be nice enough to put me in the description. Definitely not keeping that in. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, see you. Oh, gosh, shit.